In the last section, we set up a working Elasticsearch instance. In this video, we will begin adding real data to our index. Over the remaining videos in this section, we will also cover field types, how Elasticsearch classifies a given field, text analysis, how that field is broken down into searchable tokens, routing, how Elasticsearch determines which shard to place the document in, and finally, bulk indexing, or how to batch large lists of updates into a single command. Our next step is to begin ingesting data into our application. You can see here that we have a document defined in JSON. JSON is the format that we use to communicate with Elasticsearch, both for adding new documents, as well as searching via the query DSL. It has a strictly hierarchical structure, along with inherent support for several key field types, strings, numbers, and booleans, in addition to null values. This JSON block describes a single book with fields for information, such as title, authors, publishing date, and ISBN. As a note, I'm using the sense view in Marvel because it gives a slightly better visual representation of the commands as we walk through them. But all these commands also work using curl in the command line or using the URI commands in the browser. To ingest this document, we need to use the put method to add the document to our index. We specify our index name for the project, in this case, library, the document type, which is books, and a document ID of one, since this is the first document that we're ingesting. The document type is essentially a category within the index. For instance, we could have separate types for movies and music within our library index. Each document type can have its own settings for indexing and querying, as we will see in the next video. Let's go ahead and ingest this document. The success message on the right verifies that we added a document to the library index with a type of books. Although we could have created these separately, they were both created automatically based on the path that we provided. You will also notice that the document is assigned a version number, one in this case, because we just indexed a new document. Subsequent updates won't create a new document, so this is the only time that the created flag is true. You will also notice that I have explicitly specified an ID for this document. Usually your ID scheme should correspond to the ID scheme of your primary application or product catalog, for example. If an ID is not specified, Elasticsearch will automatically assign a unique hash to the document ID. Although convenient, this should only be used if a canonical way to identify the data doesn't already exist. If we index this document again, you will notice that the document version number increments accordingly. This is very useful because when updating a document, you can specify the version number that you are expecting to modify. So what happens if we try to update a specific document version that has already been modified by another source? Elasticsearch throws an error, alerting you to the version conflict. Now that we know the basics of ingesting a document, let's verify that a document is in the index by searching for it. We can do that by using the underscore search handler on our library index and specifying a query. Our document is returned just as expected. You can see that the return is also in JSON. It contains our document along with the metadata about the search and the current state of the Elasticsearch cluster. One other thing to note is that within the return for document, the source object allows us to access all of the original field values, which will be extremely useful to us when we build out our application. To recap, all documents are indexed as JSON objects and then stored within an index and a given document type. During this video, we created an index and ingested our first documents into it. In the next video, we will learn more about what Elasticsearch's schemaless structure really means and how to use it as a springboard for defining our field types.